Hello and welcome to a video tutorial showing you how to customize the URL path for your Google Sites website. So there's a variety of reasons that you might want to customize a URL path. Maybe it's too long and you want to shorten it up so it's easier to remember. Um, or maybe you want to hide some subpages by customizing that path. So we can do that um, through the new options in Google Sites. So before we get there, let's just take a quick look at the URL for this. You'll notice that I have sites.google.com, brsd.ab.ca, and then 21 cent learning and learning in the loop. The sites.google.com can't be changed easily right now. Google hasn't given us the ability to do that. The brsd.ab.ca also can't really be um, changed. Yours might look different than mine. This is my school's um, domain. So you might have a different domain there. What can be customized is everything that comes after that. So that 21 cent learning and the learning in the loop can be changed. So let's see how to do that. To do so, you need to go into the edit version of your website. So here's my edit field, and I'm going to pick on the learning in the loop because it's pretty long. So normally when you're in the um, edit view, you're going to see insert, and then over here on the side, you can click on pages. They won't be unfolded yet. So if you want to customize any one of these, you can. In order to customize a page, just mouse over top of it, and you'll see those three dots on the side. So any one of these can be customized. I want to do the learning in the loo one though, so I'm going to go down here and I have my three dots on the side, I click on them, and then I'm going to go to properties. From here, this is the name of the website, or the name of this particular page. I don't want to change that, but what I do want to change is the pathway, so I'm going to click advanced. Now I can put in a custom path, and I just want it to be loo. That's all I want it to say. So I'm going to press, uh, I'm going to type that in, and then I'm going to press done. In order for this to go live on the internet, though, I have to press the publish button. So I'm going to do that. Now that it's published, we can view the published site. And up here on the URL bar, you see that it now says 21 cent learning and then Lou right after that. And then we can compare it to the original one, which has changed. Now, if I try to refresh this page, just something for you to be aware of, it's going to break all your links. So I can't access this website any, or this page anymore because we changed the name of the page. We actually changed where it's located. So it's just something to be aware of. If you have a lot of links, fooling around with the URL path isn't necessarily something that you're going to want to do. So again, to do that, you go to the page that you want, hover over top of it with your mouse, get the three dots, click down onto properties, then into advanced, and change uh, what it says in the custom path. That's all you need to know. If you like this video, please consider leaving me some feedback on my Google Forms uh, on the website. And thanks for watching.